With 13 films and 11 brands in his kitty, Bollywood's heartthrob Ranbir Kapoor is the second most valued actor in the Indian endorsement circuit, according to the first ever celebrity brand valuation study by American appraisal, a US consultancy firm. According to the study, Ranbir Kapoor ranks number two with a brand value of 129.4 million US dollars, second only to Shah Rukh Khan. जब से तेरे नैना मेरे नैनों से लागे रे तब से दीवाना हुआ तब से बेगाना हुआ रब भी दीवाना लागे रे रब भी दीवाना लागे रे while his debut film, Savaria, which released in 2007, did not do very well commercially, it helped Ranbir Kapoor get his first role as a brand ambassador for the cola major, Pepsi. Now, how about that? Pepsi, yaar. But, how? Chaho to sab kuch hai, Asa. Eight years later, the actor still continues to be the face of Pepsi in India. So we'll go catch the match. Ranbir Kapoor's endorsements range from food and beverage majors like Lay's and Oreo to lighting and technology names like Philips, Panasonic and Lenovo. His style quotient also makes him the face of luxury Swiss watch brand Tag Heuer. मैं रणबीर कपूर चलो बताता हूँ म्यूजिक बजाने का फाड़ू नया तरीका Filling in as a youth icon, he also caters to the younger generation by advertising for online music app Savan, Classified's website AskMe.com and Hero Hi gorgeous Ranbir's endorsement career gets added credibility by the relationship with French automaker Renault. Every day with is the passion that inspires us at Renault. Renault, passion for life. Storyboard editor Anand Rangaswamy caught up with Ranbir Kapoor to speak about his relationship with Renault, responsibilities as a brand ambassador, what difference brand endorsements make to his commercial value, and on what basis he chooses the brands he associates himself with. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Storyboard. Uh, today we are talking to Ranbir Kapoor, who is a brand ambassador for Renault. We are going to talk to him about his association with Renault, about the roles and responsibilities of a brand ambassador, but how he measures whether his association has been good or bad. Welcome to this fascinating interview. Thank you for having me. So why Renault? Uh, you should ask that to Renault. Why me? Uh, you know, it's like I said earlier that it's a no-brainer, uh, you know, to be part of the Renault family. It's one of the leading European car makers. It's it's a brand. It's a it's an ideology that I grew up with. You know, watching them uh, on F1 races. None of you traveled to France. None of you or, or you saw the cars at the Cannes Film Festival. You know, everywhere you saw, you know, Renault had a very large presence. Uh, and uh, I, I think that only comes from the fact that they were really committed to, uh, you know, delivering. 
uh, if it was innovation, if it was customer satisfaction, if it was uh, uh, you know uh, relaunching, reworking their their own ideologies towards changing times, uh, you know the fact that it's been what I think four years that they've been present in, in India, and uh, one of the models is already a game changer in a certain category, which is the duster. Uh, so, you know, uh, I think I'm, I'm really grateful that Reno chose me as a brand ambassador. They had a certain match that, you know, because I come from a certain lineage of actors and, uh, you know, I'm the, the, the fourth generation. Uh, so they wanted to sell the ideology of Reno to generations, to a family, uh, you know, and um, uh, in that as the driving selling point of, of, of the car. Uh, so I think it's that, but I don't know. I just feel I'm lucky that Reno signed me on. Uh, are you uh, naturally a lover of cars or? You know, like a lot of brand ambassadors who have nothing to do with the product that they endorse. Uh, are you disconnected no, from that? I don't believe that it's very important to believe uh, in the product that you're a part of or, or in the same family. Otherwise, if you don't believe in it, how would you sell it? Uh, you know, it's, it's, I've been really lucky that I'm, I'm, I'm part of brands that I believe in or that I use or, or that I can be proud of and who are instrumental in my growth more than I'm instrumental in, in, in their growth. Uh, and I think Renault is, is a very strong force uh, that has added in my, uh, uh, in my kitty of things. Right. Uh, when you're a brand ambassador of a car, what, what is, in your opinion, the role of the brand ambassador? Like I mentioned, it's the, it's the ideology. You know, if they're selling the, like a term, passion for life, uh, you know, you sell it, you believe in it, and, and you also live your life according to that. Uh, I think that's what's important. Uh, uh, I'm just not a shopkeeper where I'm getting a product to sell it. You know, I'm, I'm going to, uh, or I would like to believe that I want to be part of this for my entire life. You know, I want uh, people to understand the values that Reno has or, or certain uh, uh, insight that they've had uh, about life that I can probably add in my life or I can pass on to my future generations. So it's something which I hope that, you know, I can partner in over the next few years. Uh, what is it about the category cars where almost every car manufacturer seems to feel the need for a brand ambassador? Uh, I really wouldn't know the answer. I guess with Renault, because it was a new player in the Indian uh, market, uh, you know, so I guess that's why uh, creating a known face probably was important. Uh, but I also believe that there's so many other brands, uh, uh, you know, car brands that don't have, uh, uh, you know, brand ambassadors. But having said that, I think like in a decade, uh, a year that India is going to be the largest market for automobiles, uh, you know, larger than USA and China, and, and if that's going to happen, so there's so many different players that are coming, so the competition is growing. Uh, so apart from really pushing the innovation, apart from pushing uh, technology, uh, you also have to make it glossy. You have to make the marketing uh, something that the uh, customer gets attracted to, something that the customer says, oh, you know, I like this. Um, like for an example, like the last ad film we did, Mr. ARM under the music of that, and uh, I've got, I've had so many people come to me and said, oh, you know, the music is really catchy, uh, you know, who's done it? The people, the people don't know it's Mr. ARM. So I think that kind of synergizes with the brand, and now suddenly when people hear the song, they relate it to the Renault brand. For me, passion for life is music, of course, and uh, through music, I've uh, got so much of. You know, other blessings God has given. The brief is also always uh, about making it simple and catchy, and and uh, it has to appeal to you know people who hear it for the first time. So I'm back to that mode and see what, how um, this track could be an interesting one, you know, clutter breaking in a way, and it should cut across. Then I forgot about all that under the track. <laughs> to listen to Renault, passion for life. Re, 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 rafta. So things like this, you know, uh, uh, which kind of get married to a name, like my face, if it gets married to Renault name, maybe because people know me, they'll identify, okay, you know, this is the car and beer endorses, let's see what, it, what it's about. So I guess that's why people really sign brand ambassadors. You know, uh, Ranbir, uh, you know, uh, endorsing a brand can't be just about money or more money. You know, obviously there are certain things you you check before you say yes to a brand ambassadorship. So what are the thing, few things that you look out for? I mean, like the simple things, you know, the simple philosophy is what the brand stands for, uh, the people behind it, uh, the kind of uh, intentions that they have in the market, uh, the kind of um, change that they want to make. And also now with the Make in India uh, uh, rule that the government is passing, Renault, the 
liquid is going to be made in India. You know, certain things, you know, which also, uh, uh, the certain ideologies which really, you know, you feel, okay, okay, these people have it intact. You know, they, the value system is intact. And I think that's really important. Randy, when you do brand ambassadorships, how do you measure whether it's worked or not? How do you personally satisfy yourself that the brand ambassadorship has worked? Uh, you see, it's, it's, it's never a... a, a it's never a short, short success. Uh, you know, like movies, uh, you give you 100%, you know, your intentions, your hard work, everything is there. But you don't know if it's going to work or not. Uh, where brands are concerned, I think they are more at risk than I am. Uh, you know, we'll probably make an ad film, we'll sell a, a certain ideology or we'll sell a certain, at a certain phase in a year that, okay, it's Diwali time, you know, let's sell the product in this way. Sometimes it's a success, sometimes it's a big failure. Uh, but the fact is that you try, you do something new to get the customer's attention, to entice the customers. I think that's what's important. And I've been lucky, you know, with brands like Renault, also like Pepsi, Panasonic, Tag, uh, you know, these brands are really uh, pushing the envelope, you know, where, where marketing is concerned, where products are concerned, uh, and all of that. So I really can't take credit for much. Uh, you know, all I have, of course, I, I try and involve myself in the creatives as much as I can. Uh, but at the end of it, it's not about me, it's about the product. Uh, you know, I'm just uh, the medium. Uh, for the customers to understand the product. Right. So yeah, I try and involve myself as much as I so can. So you brought up creative. Now tell me, what is the role of the, the advertising agency, the company itself, the creative director and you? What are the different roles? Well, I usually what, what I try and do is that uh, I try and uh, understand, like suppose like, uh, Renault wants to do an ad uh, next month, I probably I'll ask them for a first draft of a script. So I'll react to it, I'll have my suggestions and tell them, okay, this is what I feel. This is probably, this can be better, or this is really good, or this is not so good. So the next step is we meet the director and the, uh, the, the team of writers, the creative agency. We kind of bounce ideas, you know, how, what is the best way possible to put this across? Uh, you know, uh, am I seeming the same in every ad? Can we put another character? Can I be play this character through this ad? Uh, so we bounce off ideas. And finally, when we shoot it, uh, you know, the, so the fact is that, you know, on, on the shooting day, you can't make more changes. You know, it's an ad film. It's an expensive medium. You have to know what you're doing. Uh, so I try and involve myself a month before the ad film is shot. So you, you know, everybody's on the same page as how, you know, how we're going about it. We're going to take a short break here. When we come back, we're going to talk to Ranbir about the roles and responsibilities of a brand ambassador, not just that as an actor. If I have uh, if I have four brand offers, I have not done the other three because I don't believe in it. You know, these are not the only brands that come to me. I choose because I believe in them, and uh, that I will not come across dishonest. I will not come across somebody who is just doing it for you know for monetary purposes or for or for brand imaging. You know, I'm doing these brands because I believe in it, and I've always been uh, quite clear from the beginning of my career that I want to work with with brands and, and with companies. Uh, you know, which are household names which have certain ideologies and value systems uh, that will add to, uh, to my life. So I've been quite clear with that. <laughs>